Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Techies and in this video let me explain how to deploy our ReactJS application in IAS server. The step is very simple. First we have to generate the build file using the command npm run build. So after that we have to do the site setup in our IAS server and then we have to map these files. Okay. Now let me go to my application. We can generate the build. And if you are watched my angular deployment video, the steps are almost similar only. Okay, the build will take some time. Meanwhile, we can open our IA server. We can follow the steps. So under the sites, we can add our new website. react red and the physical path so let me define my deployment folder so inside the deployment i'm going to have one more folder react from our ia server let me choose the same path now let me click ok ok one thing i missed the binding Okay, the default value 80 is loaded. So let me change this into 85. So here I choose to 85 as the port. It is not mandatory. So based on the available port, you have to choose your own port. Okay. And the next, let me go to my application. Okay, great. The build is completed. And if you see this output, so the build file available in the path of build. Okay. So let me go to my application folder. Okay, this is my application Redux grid. Inside that we have this build folder. So here we can see our build files. So let me copy everything. And we can move in our deployment folder. Okay. Next in our IA server. Let me restart this one. And also in our app pools, the .NET CLR version is 4.0. So let me go to the basic settings. So this is our ReactJS application. The code is no managed code. Okay. Now let me browse this application. See, we are in the home page ReactJS cred using Redux and JSON server. So if I'm clicking this user, okay, I'm getting the network error because my API is the JSON server is GPA, it is not running. So anyway, let me run in the local. Okay, API in the running mode. So let me go to the home page. We can refresh the screen. Again, I am coming to our user screen. See, the data is loaded. So if I'm trying to edit this one, so instead of the admin user and let me provide admin user one, if I'm clicking submit, okay, it is updated. So even if I'm trying to remove this record, it is working fine. So let me refresh the screen, okay. So when I'm refreshing time, I'm getting the issue. So this is all about the URL rewrite issue, okay. The step is very simple for resolving this issue. So while my Angular deployment also I have explained the same thing. So in our IES server, first check whether we have this URL rewrite. If you don't have, just go to the browser, type like URL rewrite download. So in this first link, just move on the bottom. So based on your system requirement, download this installer and install the URL rewrite model 2.1, okay? So after that, just to restart your machine. So then you are able to see this URL rewrite, okay? Then defining our URL rewrite rules, we have to create one web config file. So in this deployment folder, just to right click and text file, then change the name web and the extension is config.
then open in this uh, notepad plus plus and here you have to add the lines okay so then close this one I will add this content in our description you have to use it so let me close this one and the next in our IA server let me restart this one so now I am trying to refresh the screen see the data is loading so again I am trying to remove one more record it is removed automatically it is got refreshed again if I am trying to refresh also it will work and I am able to navigate in the different menus so finally let me create one new record also see the new record is created successfully okay great now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching